Now, the year 2020 has been one of the most uncertain and testing ones in our times. The pandemic and the global economic downturn has impacted almost every household. And children, too, have been affected. The letters written to Santa Claus reveal the anxieties and the worries that the children have faced during the COVID-19 pandemic. Here's the report. In theory and often in practice, any letter addressed to Père Noël, which is French for Father Christmas, is likely to find its way to the sorting office in France's Bordeaux region. The office has been handling Santa's mail since 1962. Workers here call themselves elves. However, from the first letters this year, it became apparent how the pandemic was weighing on children. All this year they have been in lockdowns. They have been deprived of school, deprived of their grandpas and grandmas. Their parents have been occupied by the health crisis and what not. So we, of course, can tell that, that the children are putting into words of everything they have felt during this period. We see that they are affected by it and we see it in what they write. A five-year-old doesn't usually ask Father Christmas to wear his mask. So we really understand what the children are writing. Driving by the tens of thousands, the letters, notes and cards are revealing windows into the minds of the young authors at the tail end of a year of sickness and turmoil. Some have even slipped face masks inside greeting cards sent to Santa. With the health crisis and COVID this year, we also receive masks at the Secretariat of Father Christmas surgical masks sent from Taiwan. We have a small collection of fabric masks fashioned with love by children and their parents. We thank you. Father Christmas and his elves have received the masks. Five-year-old Alina wants to meet Father Christmas as long as Santa takes precautions. She is unwilling to risk the health of her grandparents. We ask you, Father Christmas, to go through the front door because of the virus. The back door will be for Grandpa and Grandma. Thank you very much and big kisses. Carla and Alina. The elves believe that children are confiding worries in these letters to Santa that they may not have shared with their parents. This year, we really feel their fears for themselves their grandparents or their parents, especially when they are health professionals. It's what really emerges from their letters and in every country. The letters are arriving by the tens of thousands at the sorting office. The elves here reply to about 12,000 per day. Amid the uncertainty of 2020, Christmas appears to be particularly important to children this year. We report we on World is One. Co-presented by Skoda. Simply clever.